Hello again, welcome to follow my sailboat building video series. My name is Panu and I am building this 50 meter livable cruising sailboat here in winterish Finland. It is now early March and the winter is still pretty much here. This particular week is going to be really really cold. It's now about minus 3 degrees Celsius and at night time it should be about minus 15. So yeah, no spring yet, although we have much more daylight already. But all right, let's continue right where we left on the last video. Behind me here you can see all kinds of stuff we prepared on the last video. On the table there is this frame number six almost ready to go and here is some slats prepared for that as well. There is a whole bunch of slats over there on the shelf for the next three frames after this and I have almost ready to go programs for all the parts for the next frames seven, eight and nine. As mentioned in last video, I'm changing the system a little bit for these next frames. That's because they are substantially big. They are the biggest frames on the boat and it just is too much to do at one go the whole frame. So now I'm starting to laminate this frame number six today by making just the other half. Some things I already have noticed. Uh, first of all, these slats, I made them a little bit thicker than the previous ones. These are now eight millimeters thick. I already tried them in the, that frame and they are just a little bit too thick and too stiff to really bend easily on there. So I am gonna plane them down just a little bit to make it just that much easier to bend there. Then I need to do some final preparations before I can start uh, dealing with the epoxy. Let's check now one particular thing I need to take into consideration when I'm doing this one half at a time. So obviously this floor timber here is going to be continuously across the whole frame, but the actual laminated frame will end right here where the keel will be, the keel timber or whatever you may call it. Obviously I need to glue this floor timber here at the same time I'm gluing these slats against it. I need to glue it down to the plywood and also to these slats and also the upper piece of the plywood right in here. So this piece is going to be glued down at the same time as these first slats go in. The problem, however, is that I don't want to spread the glue on this side just yet because there's going to be another frame half in here and I need to have a fresh wooden surface to glue it on this side. So I need to figure out a little bit how I'm gonna prevent the epoxy going in this side of the plywood and on top of this side because these uh, floor pieces are made from two pieces of this plywood like so. So this one I don't want to glue just yet because it will go above uh, the next frame half of course. So what I've been thinking now is to just put a packing tape around this seam right here and put this down temporary and cut this joint here and remove the tape on the other side. So when I spread the epoxy on this side, it won't go on that side. And if there is any squeeze out coming from this uh, seam, it will go above the tape. So I can just rip it off later. On the bottom, however, I really need to glue this floor timber down to this side as well, all the way here. But I'm going to do the same thing into this seam, so I'm gonna tape it down so the glue that might squeeze out from there will not go into this plywood outside of the floor. So that's kind of the plan. And I really hope that it works. Other than that, there is really not that much any special things about this right now. So I have made a hole here and a hole right there so I can put the dowel here to prevent these from moving this way while pushing them down in there. But I think now I'll start by planing these down maybe half a millimeter to get them a little bit thinner just to make sure that they bend correctly here. I actually broke one of them when I tried to 
bend it there. So yeah, just to prevent that. But uh, today I'm trying really to laminate this and I'm gonna laminate the next half of the frame day after tomorrow. So every two days I should be able to do one half of the frame from now on. All right, the first half of the frame number six is now laminated. It's underneath here in the box. Uh, it has now been almost a day there and uh, it's mostly cured, it feels solid. There is still some kind of, uh, not stickiness, but you can a little bit feel that surface still. So I'm gonna leave it there for a while. But today I'm gonna prepare everything for the second half of the frame number six, milling some slats to uh, thickness and uh, all that kind of stuff. But then I also realized that if I'm gonna be able to laminate the frame number seven in a few days, I really need to laminate today the floor piece stock for that. So by that I mean this stuff, solid timber stock where I'm gonna see and see cut the floor piece out of. This one didn't go actually that well. I made a little bit of a shortcut and I did not uh, 
plane the gluing surfaces down before doing the glue up. So they were in the surface, you buy them from the hardware store. And there was a small issue in that somewhere you can maybe see there is a bit of a gap here. It is glued very solid, all right, but there is still some kind of a gap there. So I'm going to prevent that and plane those stock pieces before a little bit to get really straight and smooth surfaces for that. It is a really cold week. It was yesterday down to minus 12 degrees, then it raised up uh, during the evening a little bit. I think it was around minus 11 when I left. Now it's uh, just around 8, I think, or something. So it's pretty all right here, a little bit windy outside. So anyway, time to get in the work. It's getting cold, you have to do something to keep warm. Here we go. Now there is this floor piece under glue up. And I just realized this could be done with different kind of glue than epoxy probably. But in these temperatures, there's really no other option, I think. Nothing water-based. And then I realized something else. Uh, so as mentioned, tomorrow my plan is to laminate that second half of that frame six. And yeah, there's however, slight issue, I can't imagine I'm saying this, but I don't have enough clamps. So, I mean, these clamps and <laughs> yeah, probably I don't have enough these rods either to put all those clamps for that second half of the frame. But I think that tomorrow the other side is dry enough for me to get those clamps from there. That is, however, a bit annoying because it takes quite a lot of time to remove all those from there, so bit of an annoying problem not to have enough stuff. Nevertheless, now I'm gonna put the heated box around this table again, let these cure, and tomorrow I will continue with the second half of that frame.
Thursday, two days since I laminated this one and I just released it from the clamps. There was no spring back whatsoever. Everything feels hard and solid. This is probably the best lamination so far. I'm really, really pleased with this. One of the reasons I think this was a success was these little plywood things that I left on the program and they keep the slats from going up and down while gluing it and these are all in places where there is these clamps. A couple of previous laminations you might notice that we put additional separate pieces uh, underneath the clamps but now they are here as permanent structure. They will obviously be cut off but they really help to keep the slats on their place while doing the clamping. Now I'm just about to start laminating the other side. It's pretty cold day, that's why I'm here at the daytime. It's now about noon, so the sun is shining. It's warming up a little bit. It's not that cold actually, but tonight it will be around minus 15 again. So I want to get this over with during the day when the sun is warming things. The system works great. The joint that a little bit worried me, it went perfect. There is not that much squeeze out from that joint. I managed to get the tape off from there, so there is clean surface to glue on now on that uh, floor timber and around there uh, with the plywood forms. And the reason why I took all these off, because I realized yesterday, of course, that I don't have enough clamps for that side. And uh, I actually probably don't have enough of these rods either, so I release them from this side. So now there should be plenty for doing that side. That frame number seven's floor piece is still on there. It's a bit sticky. It's uh, 15 hours ago glued, so it will be there a couple of days still. But now let's just jump right in and do the other side. All right, this seems to be cured. It's now two days later and I realized that I can't do this lamination every other day because after laminating the second half, I really need to wait two days to this setup properly. So there has to be two days gap in between the actual frames. So this was laminated on Thursday. Yesterday was Friday, today is Saturday and today I am getting this off from the table. It's all cured and fine. And after that, I'm gonna prepare the next frame, the frame number seven. I'm gonna cut something with the CNC and uh, all kinds of stuff and clean up the table and you, you know the drill. But the plan is to laminate the first half of the frame seven tomorrow, which would be great.
Okay, the frame number six is out of the table. This is now frame seven coming up and uh, the frame six did fit on this table well enough uh, so that the box could fit around it. But now the seven is slightly bigger already and it's now placed on the center so this edge is uh, similar to that other side as well. And you can see that there's only two rows of these holes left and uh, this clamp doesn't really fit on that second row, so it has to be on the outer row like that. And now the box doesn't fit on the table anymore and that's a problem because we need the box of course to be well around here to make the epoxy cure. So that's the second reason I'm doing these uh, in sections is that I can actually place this not on the center but one row that way. And now the clamp fits right there but I cannot do the second side at the same time. So after I have laminated this side, I have to detach it and move the whole frame two rows this way so that I can laminate the other side. And now you can see the box still fits in here. It can be actually different case with the next frames, which will be even bigger than this, but we'll get back into those later. For this frame, I'm going to do, do just that and place it right there. It's a good idea to check these out before doing anything. Another lamination day. Everything is almost ready. The mold is there, the slats are here. Only thing that is missing is the floor timber that is still in there. So I need to plane that down and cut it with the CNC. In the last video you saw was some problems with cutting that stuff and I'm gonna do the same that we did eventually that we just cut maybe halfway through and rest of the cut were made by hand. So we get the exact shape for that but I just don't have uh, that kind of bit for the CNC router at the moment so gotta do it that way. But now really want to do this lamination of the first side today so better get going with that floor timber now and uh, let's see how that goes.
two days later, frame number seven, part one, is done and solid. Luckily, I visited here yesterday and I found out that the wire for the heater was actually unplugged. So there was 24 hours without any heat inside the box. Now the epoxy feels just a little bit sticky. Not really, but a little bit. But I think it's solid enough for me to get these clamps off today and laminate the other side. However, as mentioned, I need to remove all these rods and move the whole thing this way to be able to fit the other side on that end. So that's going to be interesting.
And just like that, the frame number seven behind me here is done. It is so far the biggest frame. And I have to say the chopping of this job into two sections works great. I have now done two of these and yeah, uh, it, it really is better way to go. It's much more gentle operation to do for me and my back. <laughs> and with the epoxy, the work is much more controllable. So yeah, I'm gonna continue the next frames like this. And what I have thinking now about these videos, not sure if I can make any interesting videos about this process anymore. The next few weeks are pretty much going to be the same. I'm gonna do one side at a time every other day and two days between the frames to make it cure. There's two weeks for me to now edit this video, so there's four weeks time to get everything for video after that. And I'm thinking if I should really start to make the stem of the boat, that would be interesting and a little something different than the job so far. I will think about that and for now I'm gonna end this video right here. In this video you saw me laminate two frames in four different sessions and I'm gonna continue now actually the work it's still light and the temperatures is really nice, 3.5 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna do the next floor timber stock for the frame 8. I should be able to mill that day after tomorrow. So have to think forward all the time and uh, that is one challenge I need to really address with this project. So far it has been kind of going and inspecting things and kind of innovating how to make things efficiently. But now that I have done these frames quite a lot already. I need to start thinking ahead and I have to keep it that way so that I can always have something additional to do to make the progress really fast as possible. So thank you for watching. Watching these videos is the free and easy way to support this project. I encourage you to watch these from start to end to get as much watch time as possible. That's the one YouTube algorithm thing. Of course, remember to subscribe the channel and give a like for this video as well. And if you want to support this project even more, you can go to check the Patreon page. You can go to check the t-shirts or other stuff down below. And one thing I have had some questions is how to support the project via PayPal or something like that. And I have to say the Finnish law in this matter is very clear. Individual people cannot get any donations from public. That's just how it is. So I cannot accept any donation from you. I have to sell something and the Patreon first tier is uh, just to get to see the videos before others. So that's the first thing I'm selling and the rest of the stuff are of course explained there. And if there's something special about these tiers, I should add just leave a comment down below. All ideas are accepted. Nevertheless, we'll see you in the next video. I really don't know at this point what that is going to be, so stay tuned. Bye-bye.